What's up guys? Spotbot here. We got another weapon review for you SMGs. This is the CBJ MS and if you're like me, I was kind of curious. Well, what CBJ MS? What's the the background here? Well, it's the Saab Beaufort Dynamic CBJ MS and it's a personal defense weapon slash submachine gun manufactured by Saab Beaufort Dynamics. I thought Saab only made cars. I guess they make more than cars, right? Uh, anyways, so Let's take a look at the CBJ. Now, it's kind of my least favorite of the SMGs, but I think a lot of that has to do with the the way I roll, right? The, <laughs> when I'm playing search or, or I'm playing usually with my SMGs, I want a silencer on it, okay? So the problem with this, with the CBJ-MS, is that it has by far the lowest range. All right, it's got the lowest range out of all the SMGs. I mean, if you compare it to the Vector base range without a muzzle break or a silencer on either weapon, it's got less than half the range, okay? Um, Vector CRB running at 710, the CBJ-MS is running at 350. So you do the math. Okay, so, so far the CBJ sucks at range. Well, what's the trade-off? There's always a trade-off. So, you know, uh, one weapon's good in one area, but it has uh, less than stellar... Uh, statistics in another area. Well, the advantage with the CBJ is that it's got the highest rate of fire. It's approximately equivalent without a rapid fire on, okay? It's approximately equivalent to the Bison. It's it's nearly tied between the CBJ and Bison. I do have uh, some data that's a bit conflicting, but it's up there. Let's just say that. With rapid fire, by far, the CBJ-MS has the highest rate of fire and equivalently when you combine that with the damage, and again, the, the damage, the max damage, so within that, uh, that range of the weapon, the max damage before the damage drop-off, uh, we're rated number tied for fifth, okay? So we're pretty much on the bottom end. I mean, it's a slight, slight advantage over the K7, but really not much. It's somewhat insignificant. But if you combine that with the rate of fire, the CBJ has the quickest time to kill out of any of the SMGs, all right? Okay, so what does that mean for me as a player? Well, me, if, if I want to be silent, if I want to remain silent, I probably don't want to run with a CBJ. If I'm going to run an SMG, I'd probably pick one of the other ones simply because of the range. Again, I try to get into close quarters combat as much as possible, and you can see in most instances I am here in this gameplay, but I'm at a severe disadvantage at any kind of range. I mean, it's going to take six hits at that, that range drop off so it's going to take some time to take somebody out you better hope he's not looking at you when you're trying to freaking lay into him with uh six rounds at at a distance so furthermore it's got a limited magazine capacity the uh the veeper is the best at 42 and the lowest is the k7 and vector tied at 32 well the cbj has 34. so if you're trying to hit somebody at a distance you're you know you're gonna run out of ammo pretty quick um, the another nice thing about the uh, the CBJ, some of these or most of these guns have integrated attachments, so to speak. The CBJ has the uh, armor piercing tungsten round, so you don't have to select armor piercing. This not doesn't appear as an option for you to select armor piercing rounds. Um, so you know, with that advantage as well, I mean, you know, I, I can see armor piercing more in an LMG. It's not like you're going to take out a helo with the CBJ, with armor-piercing rounds. I mean, you're probably not going to be within a decent enough range to do much to uh, to a helo, for example. But the nice thing about armor-piercing is that it uh, basically goes right through ballistic vests. So if the enemy team... You know, if you do see the enemy team running ballistic vests and you are running the CBJ, then you really don't have to worry about it because they just rip right through uh, any sort of ballistic vests. And they also help, you know, if you're taking out a SATCOM or or any other um, sort of uh, kill streak rewards like that, other than the dog and, and the, um, I think there's one for the uh, companion dude or whatever you call it. I can't remember, I'll have to take a look at that. I've never used it before. It won't be advantageous for that, but for actual equipment, um, then it will be. So the standard uh, headshot multiplier, 1.5, and the silencer range multiplier at 0.75 stand, and that's similar for all the SMGs other than the K7 simply because it comes standard with a silencer. 
The final consideration we're looking at for the CBJ is the handling. So the handling, as far as, uh, you know, raising the gun, ADSing, that sort of thing, it's approximately equivalent across all the SMGs. There are, again, there are perks that are going to help you with that. But from a standard, here's the SMG perspective, it's in around the same range. Uh, reloading time is on the high end. So, you know, if, if you're finding that you're reloading a lot and you're getting stuck depending on the game mode then you may want to run sleight of hand um, because it is at the top of the spectrum across the six smgs so one thing that i'm going to be doing i've been going uh, through all the smgs and well i just started really because i only got unlocked the gold camo for the uh, the vector a couple of days ago but i'm going through all the smgs to start with and uh, probably some of the other guns just to get the gold camos and do all the challenges to unlock all the camos to enable me to unlock the, the gold camo. And I think what I'm going to do when I run the CBJ is, you know, step away, step outside my comfort zone of the silencer and equip it with a muzzle brake and probably a rapid fire mod, all right? And take advantage. I mean, the, the thing you want to do if you're running SMGs, yes, there's the handling of it. There's the feel of it. There's just, hey, I'm, I'm going to use it for 20 hours and, and just get to know it and, and get all nice and cozy with it. Maybe, you know, sleep with it a couple nights or whatever. Um, just get comfortable with the weapon. But, you know, I try and take the SMGs and, you know, take the advantages of those particular SMGs and make them better. So, OK, let's extend the range, number one, so that we get a longer range. And it doesn't significantly increase it. It's going to increase it, you know, a bit better than the Bison but not so much like without a muzzle break on the bison the it's going to be a bit longer range than that um but the rapid fire again looking at the strengths of the smg with rapid fire it's going to be again the quickest time to kill out of all the smgs so that's what i'm gonna do and hopefully i'll bring some gameplay uh, to you once we eventually do that and uh, and run it with uh, rapid fire and the muzzle break so Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, for all those of you guys using the CBJ, leave a comment and uh, let us know what you think. And uh, for those of you who aren't running the CBJ, why not try it out? Try it out with the uh, the muzzle brake and, and the rapid fire and let us know in the video comments. That's it for now. I'm Spider, and I'm out.